afternoon everybody and welcome, welcome to Crafty Clegs. My name is Jeanette and today I am coming to you from the northwest of England where I live with my husband Timothy and our little Shih Tzu, Zach. Today is Friday the 19th of April, I think. I'll put it on the screen below if it's any different. Um, and the weather... Well, I've had to tilt my blinds a little bit because we've had all sorts of weather today. We got, I got up this morning and it was freezing cold. The temperature was really low. I think it was about two degrees. Then the same sun came out and so we went out to do some shopping and it poured down with rain and then the wind picked up and now it's sunshine again. We're sort of having all seasons in one day these past few weeks. Um, the weather has been bleh, absolutely awful. Um, really wet. Oh, well, I'm not even going to go on about the weather anymore. Um, I have to apologise for my absence last week. I wasn't well at all. I could not get rid of this horrendous, well, it's gone, of a, a horrendous headache that I had. I had it for days and days and I just felt really, oh, just off. I felt really off, very lethargic, very tired. I could have slept for England um, touch wood, thank goodness, the headache has gone and isn't going to come back. Um, I could still sleep for England, but I just think that's things, that's just life in general, I think. Um, but yeah, I am feeling much, much better. Um, and I did debate whether to come on today and I thought, shall I give it another week and let me try and get 100%? And then I thought, no, because then next week it's just, yeah... It'd just be more for me to show you, more for me to talk about, and you might not always want to listen to me rambling on. Anyway, I hope you're all all right. Um, the children have all gone back to school this week now from their Easter holidays, so the roads are a lot quieter. So um, we haven't been very far. We've only been to the supermarket. I think I've had a couple of doctor's appointments. Um, I'm going out next week for lunch to see a friend. And Tim and I are thinking of going over to, um, well, we're not sure yet, but we're thinking we might go over to Liverpool one day. We've never, ever been, of course, we've been to Liverpool, but we've never, ever been to Liverpool um, to look around the shops. Not that we need anything. Um, I'm just trying to, I'm on the, the lookout for new summer dresses. And I said to Tim, I wouldn't mind going there. Plus, there is a um, swatch shop there. And Tim is <laughs> collecting these watches. Um, and there's a new one come out that he, um, that he quite fancies. So, that's what we might do next week. I'm not saying we are going to do. I suppose it all just depends on how the week pans out. Um, so, really, other than that, even though it's two weeks... I haven't really got very much to tell you because I haven't done very much. I have been really, really quiet. Um, I haven't done lots and lots of crafting. Um, the only thing that I've managed to do in the past three or four days um, is some sewing in my sewing room because it's, it, it, I said mindless, it sounds terrible that. I don't mean it's mindless. Obviously, you have to concentrate on what you're doing, but because I've done it such a lot, which is making bags stock from a shop, I can just do what I'm doing and, you know, you can either watch a podcast or um, I like to listen to audio books sometimes while I'm sewing. And it, it's just mindless work that I can just do without thinking, oh, it, do I, you know, have I done that niche sti knit stitch right or have I done this? Or have I... My concentration has just not been very good. But yeah, like I say, I am feeling a lot better. Not right, but I'm feeling a lot better. Anyway, enough of that. Um, I've got a few things to show you. Not much, because like I say, I haven't done that much crafting. Um, but I have done little bits here and there. So I have got um, some works in progress. I have got some incoming goodies. I have had two really nice treats this week. Oh, I'm so spoiled. Um, works in progress, incoming goodies. I've got a couple of finished items and then um, I've got a little bit of a shop update. I have been, like I said, doing um, shop updates. I've got more of the um, needle stoppers in the shop, got some bags in the shop and I am going to do some sewing this weekend. So I'll just keep putting them in if and when I finish them. So what shall we start with? Shall we, we start with the um, 
finished items, finished projects, I think we should. So last time I saw you, um, I had done week. Can you just see it on the windowsill there? That is um, Willie the Walrus. And I was just about to star Oscar. Um, and here he is. This is my Rika Rumi crochet along that I'm doing. Tim bought me the kit for this, if you remember. Um, so we've got Willie and... No, no, Oscar. That's Willie. That's Willie the walrus and this is Oscar the otter. Um, now, there was two of these fish, but I only did one. I didn't do two. So I've got the fish and Oscar the otter. And again, Timothy, I don't know if you can see where's the camera. Is it going to focus? Probably not. So I'll put a picture in, but he's done a little tag that says Oscar here. And then he did me a tiny, tiny, can you see that? Tiny, tiny little fish. Let me see if I can get my head out of the way. Um, to go on the end of his uh, fishing rod. I think this is a boy, isn't it? I think on the pattern it's called a bobber. <laughs> it actually is called a bobber. I'm sure it is. Um, so, yeah. And I put it's um, in here, in his fishing rod, I put a... What did I put in? Hold on a second and I'll think of the word. Pipe cleaner. So I put a pipe cle cleaner in the f fishing rod to help it, um, you know, sort of bend like that to give you the impression that it was a fishing rod. Um, for those of you that are new around here, this is the spring crochet along um, number one of Rico Rico Rumi and the all the required yarns came out in a box that my husband bought me for our anniversary in February. So that is my first finished item. Um, it's going to go on the shelf over here with um, Willie Walrus. So that's my first one. Um, it was nice to make this. I enjoy these because they're only very small. Um, <coughs> Even though there's quite a few little bits, I mean, they're not that big, but there's like the boy and the fishing rod and the hat and all the bits and pieces. They really, really don't take, oops, his fishing rod's falling off. They really, really don't take that long. Um, yeah, thoroughly enjoyed these. So I think these are going to live on my windowsill there throughout the summer or spring, summer, all across the the front of my windowsill so that is um week two I and i love this cotton it's all done in rico uh, rico Rume cotton um really affordable great great um choice of colors the colors in rico Rume is really really good anyway so we've got the little fish and oscar the ot otter oh i love it it's well cute so yeah, I finished actually finished him um, last week. Um, but like I say, I haven't really done tons and tons of crafting. Um, I have like I have done some, and I finished a few things, but not tons. So I showed to you last time I was here my three quarters of the way made um, emotional chicken, and here it is. I have finished my emotional chicken. Well, it's not mine. It's for one of the granddaughters. Um, and I can give it to them. Now we're going over to see the um, my granddaughters. I think, I think we're going to go on Sunday. Um, just to see the girls. So, yeah, I'm going to give it to her then. Um, this is done. I haven't got the ball band. Um, I will leave all the links to the patterns and everything I talk about in the description box below on all the places that you can find me around the internet. Um, I forget the name of the pattern. I shouldn't, I can't believe I forgot it because it's all over um, Instagram. Everybody's making these emotional chickens and there is also a crocheted pattern out. Now, if you can see, I forgot what this bit's called down here. But if you can see, I've left mine hanging and I don't think I was supposed to do. I think I'm supposed to stitch it to the chicken like that. So before I give it to my granddaughter, that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to stick it to the, not stick it, but um, sew it to the chicken underneath its neck here. 
Um, I used, right, so I used a Stylecraft Batik swirl for the main part of the body. This is all the same, and if you look on this side, here and here, it's all the same yarn. And then these grey stripes here, I used a Sheepies um, DK Merino. Um, and the bits at the front are just special DK, Stylecraft special DK. And obviously, it's all squidgy and lovey. So yeah, that's finished now. And that one's going to go to my granddaughter. And I also have a crochet pattern for the emotional chicken. Now, when I'm going to get round to doing this, I do not know. I'm not putting any pressure on myself. So, But I would like to try the crocheted one just to see, you know, to compare the construction of the knitted and the crochet. Because I am an avid crochet. I much prefer to crochet. I know that sounds silly with everything that I'm going to show you now, but I do prefer to crochet. Um, and when I've got these bits and pieces finished, I have this anchoring for making something miniature. And I've got something on the go, which I'm hoping to finish. But for now, this is my emotional chicken. She's lovely, isn't she? Such a good constructed pattern. It really, really is. It's very, very cleverly done. Um, I was really impressed with it. I must admit, when I first looked at the pattern, I thought, I'll never be able to do that. Just because it's there was lots of um, what they called wraps and turns. But once I went on the internet and I looked on YouTube at some tutorials, and once I'd watched that, I'd got the hang of it, and it was so easy to do. Really, really good. In fact, I have a feeling, I don't know, but I have a feeling that the knitted one is going to be a lot squidgier and more comforting than the crochet one because crochet fabric when it's made up is quite a dense fabric whereas this is very soft and squidgy and you can oh yeah I think these are but like I say I'm going to try the crocheted one but for now this is my emotional chicken it's not got a name um, I was going to make um, a little name, well I wasn't, I was going to get Tim to make me a little name tag for it, but until my granddaughter's named it, then um, I'm just going to leave it and then make one and take it over next time we go. So really, them are the only two fin finished items that I've got to show you. I've got an half, half finished item, which is in my sheet bag, and it is my car knitting socks. I showed this to you. In fact, oh, I haven't got a sock blocker here. It doesn't matter. Um, last time I showed these to you, I was just about to... I think I was just about to decrease for the toe. Anyway, I brought it in the house because I thought I'm not decreasing in the car. I might as well bring it in. Cast off or decrease the toe and kitchen a stitch it. Cast on the cuff and then I can put it back in the car. Anyway, here it is. It's not been blocked yet. I'm not going to... Um, in fact, I had, um, oh, I don't know when it was. It was quite a while back now. Maybe it was before Christmas or I can't remember when it was. It might have been in my last um, daily vlogs. But I said, like, I never really um, block anything. And so many people said, no, I don't. I make them and wearing, wearing them is blocking them. And then... When I've finished wearing them and they get dirty, I wash them. So, to be fair, I think that's what I'm going to do. Um, unless, obviously, they, I'm making them for a gift for somebody, which I am um, going to try this year and make a couple of pair of socks for gifts. Um, but these, these ones um, are for me. Um, the yarn is West Yorkshire Spinners and it's called Wood Pigeon. And this is my recipe. It's just a two by two ribbon, um, 10 rounds. And then I measure how long I want me from my cuff to my um, heel. I don't have any numbers. I just do it, try it on and think, oh yeah, I like that. Then I use the shadow wrap heel by the Earth Tone Girl on YouTube. And then I just go down as far as I need to and then I don't know what kind of toe this is. It's where I um, knit one. I knit one 
slip one knit one past slip stitch over through the back loop I think that's what I do anyway it's just decreasing on either side and that's what that is nice isn't it really really nice and this is called wood pigeon I actually saw a picture somewhere this morning and I can't remember if it was on my Instagram feed um, and I think there must be a range of sock yarn out by West Yorkshire Spinners and they're all types of birds which I loved the idea of that. I am actually going to Black Sheep on Monday so I might just have a look and see if they've got another name for a, another bird name um, sock. And I might have to treat myself but shh don't tell anybody. So yeah that is that. So it is a finished item but it's just only half of it isn't it. Um, I haven't got I haven't cast on the second one yet but that's not a problem because yeah there's no rush so that is car knitting that's half done um the next thing I am going to show you <laughs> it doesn't look like much now last time I was on here I'm sure I told you about a free pattern for 24 hours by pebble is it pebble dot knits I will put a picture on the screen of what I'm making because I haven't got a picture here. It's on my iPad and my iPad is downstairs. And it was of Pooh Bear and it was free for 24 hours. So I do hope that some of you managed to get it. Um, it's a paid for pattern now. So if you head over, I will leave the link down below if you want to have a go at making it. Well, I started it um, last, no, this week, earlier this week. Um, not really much to show. I am using a drops and it is, oh, merino, drops merino. Have I got any here? No, I haven't. Are the balls, ball bands downstairs? I will save it and show it to you, but it is a drops yarn um, and it's, um, I think it's a baby merino, something merino it is. I'm not sure. It's actually the yarn that's called for on the pattern. So whatever it says on the pattern, this is what it is. Now, I've only got the first piece, piece done and <laughs> it looks so odd. And I mean, really, really odd. And here we are. So this is the first piece. Now... I do believe that this bit here, there and there, I do believe that this is Pooh's head. Again, I'm not really sure. Them are his eyes. You've had to make, well, I can't tell you because it's a paid for pattern now. But there's eyes and then there's a nose and then I think this is the back of his head. There's all little bits and pieces that you have to construct. Um, so I sat and did this one night and I have to say I didn't think it looked right so I undid it and then when I tried to do it again it, it was right I had done it right it just you just have to get your head around the construction of the bear that you think you see this I look, even looked on the pattern and I thought well it looks like the pattern but that's not right. And of course it was. So I've actually done this piece twice. Not really much to show. But I am hoping that I'll be able to get this. At least his head finished. Like I say, I'm not putting myself under any pressure. Whatever I feel like doing is what I'm going to do. And whatever I've got to show you, I'll show you. Um. So yeah, this is Pooh's head. And that's as far as I've got with that one. So that's another work in progress. <laughs> um right so next i shall show you my advent sweater so you i don't know if you're new around here again um i don't know but if you've seen any other of my videos but i am making the arna and carlos advent sweaters um i am using a completely different yarn than they're using and i'm also doing a plain sleeve on the pattern, I'll put a picture in somewhere for you. I think it always comes over here, the picture. But I, I'll put a picture in for you and you can see, and on the pattern you can see that the sleeves are patterned or um, got colour work. Well, that was too much for me. 
couldn't cope with that. So I am on um, number four. I'm behind with these. Um, I've got to get three done this month and it is the 19th today. Um, but I, I still maintain I'll be able to do it. Because I did the last two. I think I did number two and number three in about six days. So it can be done. I just have to concentrate because I cannot get behind with these. Anyway, here we go. This is what I'm making. So I've made one, two and three. And now I'm on for four, which is a black and white um, colour. I am trying to keep within their colours, but I'm just using something different. I am using Sheepy's Stone Wash. And um, this... Um, this is, I think it's it's in between a four ply and a double knit, I think. I'm not sure, but I think it is. Anyway, I am on sweater number four. So I've done the colour work. Which one? There. Can you see? You can actually see this one, can't you? Look at that. Oh, I'm really pleased with that. So that's the colour work for the sweater. And then we've got... A sleeve so we've got the sweater and then one sleeve so I need to do another sleeve construct it and then decrease for the raglan and then do the um, polar neck which really doesn't take that long so yeah <coughs> that is number four and I'm really pleased with that because you can see it really, really well, can't you? Now, I'll let you in on a secret um, because we're all friends around here, so don't mind sharing. I did one row too many. That part, can I show you there? That part of the four should only have, should have one row. I've, I've done, I've repeated a row twice, but just at a glance, you can't see, can you? And even if you can, it don't matter. I'm really pleased with them. I have got my, um, these are, oh, I can't see. Oh, let me tell you about my glasses quickly. So last time I showed you, that you all know I had new glasses and I'd only had them about nine and a half months and all the paint had come off the side of the frames. Anyway, I've got my old glasses on now and they are replacing my frames, but they've still got them. I rang them on Wednesday and said you've had my glasses now for over a week anyway they said yes we're waiting for your frame to arrive it should be here in a couple of days and we'll ring you as soon as your glasses are back I mean don't get me wrong I can see out of these glasses but not as sharp and as clear as my new ones because obviously these are the very old ones and my eyes have got worse since then um anyway I digress so yeah um this is number four um, it's in my um, Catherine Hill project bag. This is my very special, well, it's not special, but it's my very favourite place in Froome. Froome is where my daughter lives and I love Catherine Hill. Oh, it's such a fantastic place. Um, it's got my needle stoppers on. These ones are um, what Karen's daughter bought me, Laura, but I have got lots of new needle stoppers in the shop if anybody is interested or in the market for needle stoppers. So I'm almost done with that. Hopefully next week that will be finished and I might have started my um, number five. Once you've got going and you, you, you know, if, if you don't keep getting out of your chair or I'm terrible I get out of my chair go and make a drink of tea then I'll come up here and I'll think oh I'll just have a look for that and I'll just have a look for that and by the time I finish messing about which I do a lot of I'll do a lot of messing um it's time for bed and I've only done like six rounds where really if I sat myself down concentrated on what I was doing like I did with this one I did that in a night in about two hours and I never moved. In fact, by the time I'd finished, I was desperate to go for a pee and I was as thirsty as anything, but it was well worth it because it were done. Anyway, so yeah, you didn't need to know that, did you? But hey, never mind, we're all friends around here. So yeah, that is another work in progress. And then two more, finally. Um, I'll show you this first. Um, 
you've all seen these before. These are my, um, what are they called? These are my, oh, my mind, honestly, at the moment. Little Rabbit Socks, and they are by Jules of So Sweet Violet. Can you see that? And I am on to the leg. I'm really pleased with these. Um, I am using my um, yarn that I bought from Danny and Alex in their birthday bonanza in, I think it was February. And this is how far I've got. Now, this one isn't... Is that one not? I don't think that one is out of Alex's um, and Danny's Bonanza birthday box. Um, and what it was, the box that I got from Alex and Danny, it was just 20... When I said just, that's... No, not giving it enough credit. It was a lovely bunch of um, 10 gram minis. So I wanted to make some scrappy socks, these rabbit socks. Um but the way it's con i don't really want to tell you because again it's a paid for pattern but the way the heel is worked and constructed i didn't think i'd have enough yarn with just 10 grams so i used one of my own that i knew i i had a lot more in because there was a lot of increasing here and here and then decreasing here so i was a bit worried I wouldn't have enough so I used one of mine but then I went back on to using um, Alex and Dennis and these are the little rabbit socks oh I love them I really really do like them and again I'm in no rush for these um, e easy really 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 easy to do um, this is the first time I've ever done a beanie toe um, which is worked toe up Loved it. Really easy to do. This little bit of pattern here is really, really easy to do. And it is just literally mindless knitting. Again, these would be ideal for car knitting, but I need mindless knitting at the side of my chair where I sit for when I can't be bothered to do anything that's, you know, takes a lot of work. So this is how far I've got with them and I'm absolutely loving them. So now I've turned the heel can't remember what the heel's called I'll tell you so I've turned the heel and I'm back to working in rounds now so I'm just about to change um, my next colour but I am also about let me show you very excited for this this is what I've been waiting for all this time I am about to put the bunny tails oh my goodness on the back look at this in fact Oh, I think I should have done it already. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, yeah, should have done it already. Oh, no, I shouldn't. It's fine. No, no, I shouldn't. I'm going on to my next colour now. It's fine. So, yeah, I am ready to put my bunny tails on the back, which is, again, drops alpaca boucle, and that is what you make your bunny tails out of. Isn't it lovely, that? It's ever so soft. It's a really, really soft yarn. So that is what I'm in the middle of making as well. Now, if you remember, when I'd done the stripes in my socks, there was just a little bit of scrap yarn left over. And I didn't want to waste it, so I thought, what could I do? Now, I've really always, well, when I say really, I've always wanted to have a go at Sandra from Cherry Heart, her Battenberg blanket, and I thought, I am just going to give it a go. I'm not going to procrastinate, I'm just going to give it a go, excuse me, see how I get on, and if I like it, I'll carry on. And again, it's going to be a really, really long-term project, this. Um, so, these are some of the colours that I've done. So these was all left over 
the, the blue, the pink, the yellow, the green, the speckled and the dark pink were all left over from the socks. And then this one here, when I went to Yarndale last year with Karen and Dawny, Dawn came over from the Netherlands and Laura, I went to a, co a, st a stall called Cuddle Bums. And if you just wait for one second, I'll show it to you. Coming back, talk amongst yourselves, everybody. Right, I went to a stall called Cuddle Bums and bought this. I'll, I'll have shown it to you. Um, and it is full. It's got a tray in the top, which where I'm going to put them. But it's full of wonderful, bright which everybody knows me. I'm loving my bright colours. Oh, look at that. So it's full of bright colours. So I'm going to put this last one is out of here. And there is just enough. I'm not sure how much is left. It's not worth using. It literally is not worth using. But you can get one of them squares out of it. So all this will be being made into squares. And then I'm going to put it together with the white in between. And that's what I'm going to do. But like I say, it's going to be a long term project. Every time I do some, I will show it to you. Um... But those squares, I've got them off to a T now and not really, really easy to do. Um, it's called a solid granny square. I will leave the link to the pattern down below from um, Sandra from Cherry Heart. Um, and yeah, re I have quite enjoyed doing them. Like I said, I've not done many and I haven't really done much crafting. Um, but yeah, it's coming back. My, want my um, wanting to craft is returning. Anyway, I digress. So in my fairy box, look at that. Look at these fairies here. I love it. In there as well, you also got, can you see that? A little stitch marker. Oh, I love it. Everybody knows I love my toadstools. I am having a major clear out in here. I've changed all this around. I've put my miniature shelf up there. Um, I've put my Daphne's diary, um, this was my advent from last year, I've cleaned all my crafting area up, oh, I've got um, an unboxing here to do, I'm going to film for that afterwards, um, yeah, I'm trying to be more regular with things like that, I'm so behind with me, I, do, I make so many journals and they're all over there on a the shelf, I never film them, I don't know why, I get nervous about filming journals. I think it's because I don't really know that much about it and I panic that I might be saying a load of old rubbish. But yeah, I've got an unboxing to do there. So there might be another um, video for you to watch over on my other channel, which is, it's that long ago. Believe it or not, I'm not kidding you. It's that long ago. I can't remember what my, ch my crafting channel's called. Is it Crafty Clegg's Journals? I think it is. I think that's what I've called it. Anyway, I'll leave a link to that down below if anybody is interested. So, last but no means least. Oh, it's going to be a long one, isn't it? The last thing that I'm going to show you is my amigurumi that I'm late with. This is Colin the Captain. Now, this is only a tiny, tiny picture. So, if I can find a better picture, I will put it in for you. But there is Colin the Captain and he is a teddy bear. And I am just in the middle of making him. Like I say, I'm behind, but it doesn't matter. don't think there's any hard and fast rules for finishing on time. It's just the taking part, isn't it? So, this is how far I've got. You'll think, what is she doing? She's not really doing much crafting, this woman. So, this is his head. And this is his... Is this his nose? Yeah. So, that's his head. And that's his nose. So that's Colin, the captain's head and nose. And I have now just three quarters of the way up his, well, no, halfway up his body. So that is going to go on top there. And then he really, as he's very, very plain, Colin, if you ask me, compared to some of the other ones. As in, there's only three different colours. There's only, um, oh no, four. 
four different colours. There it is, the beige, the cream, the navy, and I don't know if you can see it, but there's a little bit of gold going round his hat and his sleeves. So there's the black, the white, the navy. Oh no, there's five colours, yeah. Black, white, navy, the gold, and the cream that his head is done in this this black is just for the embroidery on his face so it's not really using any of that just for a little bit of embroidery and that is my sum total of what i've been up to which to be fair when you look around like that when you've not been well and like i said there's been days that i've done nothing i bet there was three days went by when i never picked up a crochet hook my knitting needles i just didn't want to do any i read a book um, I listened to a couple of audio books, but other than that, yeah, I didn't do any crafting whatsoever. But I have just downloaded um, today's creature from Amagurumi, and it is um, Polly the Pirate Doll. So I've got to finish Colin the Captain and get on with Polly the Pirate Doll. And here she is. I haven't got a colours out yet, so I don't know what they are. I have just um, downloaded and printed off the pattern. That's quite cute, isn't it? I like that. I think out of the ones that I've done so far, this is my least favourite. And for no other reason than it's just very plain. It's just very, I don't know, white and beige. Not really a lover of that. But I'm obviously going to do them all because I've got the kit. And I mean, it might look fantastic when it's all finished. It's just a little bit, I don't know, it just, to me, just seems a little bit bland. That's, that's, yeah, a bit beige. <laughs> anyway, so those are my amigurumis that I need to catch up on. Um, I have had some really nice incoming goodies. Um, I've had some paper crafting goodies, which said I'm going to do an unboxing after. I have had a wonderful gift today off my lovely friend Dawn from Dawn's Days and the Woven Almanac. Them are Dawn's two channels. Um, she just sent me a gift, a cheer up gift. She is such a thoughtful friend is Dawn. Um, yeah, I am very, very lucky to have her. Very, very lucky. So I have had um, an incoming goodie from Dawn. And then I've had an, another incoming goodie from my lovely friend, Kim. Thank you very much, Kim. Um, yeah, totally, totally spoiled. I'll show you now. Hold on a second. So the first one I'll show you is off Dawn. So um, <clears throat> this come just when I needed it to come to cheer me up, you know. So she sent me the new um, Katona, Sheepies Katona Chroma. Sheepy, it's a mouthful, isn't it? Sheepy's Katona Chroma. Chroma. <laughs> and it is like a variegated, it's exactly the same as Katona, only it's a variegated yarn. I have got a ball of this that I want to make the Sophie Shawlet in, which I think will be really nice. Anyway, I think I'm going to make a dishcloth with this. Like, she did actually say that, Dawn. She said, you can make a really nice dish cloth, cloth with that. So I think I'd like to do that. I think I'd like to find a really, really nice um, crocheted dish cloth pattern. And um, that's what I'm going to do. So she sent me this. Thank you very much, Dawn. You are a dream. And then, oh, now Dawn's got this as well. And she showed it on one of her, I don't know if it was her podcast that she does a weekly podcast, which is Dawn's Days, or whether it was on her crafting podcast. No, a crafting podcast, yeah, which is the Wolven Almanac. And she showed this. Oh, and I spoke to her and I said, Dawn, I love it. Excuse me. I said, will you send me the shop so I can order one? Anyway. Oh, excuse me. It's that tea. I went on the shop and they, I just couldn't understand because it's um, Dutch, I couldn't understand the shop. I don't know if I couldn't understand the shop or whether they didn't ship to England. I can't remember. <coughs> so Dawn sent it to me. Look at this. Oh my goodness. Isn't he adorable? Oh, Dawn, I love him. 
I absolutely love him. He is going to be my next soft toy that I'm going to make. Now, um, the instructions I can show them to you because I don't think anybody will be able to understand them unless you read Dutch, um, are all in Dutch. But Tim has taken a picture and he's put it into Google Translate format and he's translated it all so I can make that. So I don't know when I'm going to get round to making that dawn. I'm probably going to leave it for a couple of weeks um, just so I've got my full concentration on it. Um, but I absolutely love it. I really do. So thank you so much, Dawn. You are so kind to me. Thanks, honey. So there was that came. And then this is what my lovely friend Kim sent me. I got to know Kim um, through Instagram and Kim is a customer of mine, a customer of mine, and she's also a avid um, watcher of my YouTube and subscriber. And we've just got to know each other through that. We message each other. Um, yeah, we've just become friends. And so um, she sent me something as well to cheer me up. Oh my goodness. Well, let me show you. So she sent me these two patterns from Toft. This is, oh, I can't, hold on a second. Crochet Mountain Avens, a Avens, Aven, Avens, Avens. I'm not really sure how you pronounce that. Don't know if you can see it, if it's focusing. This cute flower and look at this fish and i just happened to have downstairs i'll put a picture in of it for you one of these goldfish bowls so this is the first thing i'm going to make oh excuse me and this is i'll make that after so this is going to be the first thing kim this fish but not only did she send me the two patterns are you ready for this i was blown away she also sent me the yarn to do it in. Oh, I have got such wonderful subscribers. Not just because you send me things, but because you're so caring. It's just, I don't know, we're just like one big happy family and I just love it. I am very, very lucky on my channel. I don't have much, because I do know it exists um, and I don't know what they call it. Um, what's the word? Is it keyboard warriors where people are not very nice to you and they say not, say not nice things? And I am so lucky. You watch this now. I'll get some horrible comments. But I am so lucky because I very, very rarely get any negative comments. And everybody is so kind. And I've had so many lovely messages asking me am I feeling better. And I just want to say thank you to everybody. You're all wonderful. And I am so happy to have you here as my friends and subscribers and and knitting buddies. Anyway, yeah, I'm going on, so shut up. But you know what I mean. Thank you. So, yeah, this is off the lovely Kim. Thank you so much, my lovely friend, Kim. So, yeah, haven't I done well this week? Um, so, that is all I've got to show you, I think. Yeah, I think that's it. got nothing else to show you. Not that it's not paper crafting related. Um, I have done some, like I say, some sewing. I have really, really enjoyed my sewing this week. I've done about two, two and a half days worth of sewing. Um, and being in, being in here, um, I, the dog comes up with me. I close the door. I usually have my blinds open. I open the window, let a bit of fresh air come in. I have, um, I put, um, oh, what they called? An audio book on my Google speaker. Um, and the day just washes over me. It makes me relaxed. I enjoy me, me sewing. I just, I've just had two really, two and a half really good days of sewing. So that's what I'm going to, I'm going to do this weekend. I am going to sew and paper craft in the day. And at night time, I'm going to sit and do whatever bit of crocheting or knitting takes my fancy. Um, I hope you're all all right. Um, 
yeah hopefully the weather will start to get better soon and we might be able to get out and get some fresh air and i think that that's what we all need i just said to tim i know that i would feel so much better in myself if i could just sit in our back garden um we have we don't have a fancy back garden at all and nor do i want one because i'm just not interested um but we we just have two really comfy chairs that we that we sit in in the garden and oh i just love being outside i just love being outside so yeah i can't wait for that to come the summer needs to come or the better weather i don't care what season you call it just as long as the better weather comes right so for those of you that are um not interested in what i'm popping in my shop i'm going to say goodbye to you and thank you very 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 much for watching um if you are new around here please don't forget to press that subscribe button um ping that bell and leave me a comment it does all help my small channel grow which i am so very grateful for so until next time well next friday um take care and i'll see you soon right shall we carry on and i'll just show you the few things that i've got in the shop but like i say there will be more going in probably over the weekend so I made, I love these bags. Um, I've got a couple of things that are not finished. Um, but I have made some of these teddy bear bags. And I told you that I'd got this cute teddy bear fabric. Oh my goodness, I love it. So this is quite a big bag, this. I think this is about a 12, 12 across by maybe 12 by 12, something like It's quite a big one, good for a sweater. Um, it's lined with this like it's like a creamy white and it's like got swishes across it i don't know like lines going across like that so we've got this one in the shop um i did have some other ones but unfortunately they've sold out but i am going to put some more in and i'll put a picture of it in it was a it was really big i've decided to do some bigger bags because people have been asking me for them and i um i've made some of these sheet bags um i've got a couple um, that I've got left and fit to make. So there might be a couple in the shop over the weekend. I can't promise because um, we'll just see what happens with time. So we've got that one. Then we've got this gorgeous rabbit fabric. I managed to get hold of some more of this. Somebody asked me for some. So I did a custom order and I had some left. So I thought, well, I might as well use it and make some for the shop. And again, this is quite a big one. This is a sweater size. And that is just got plain white um, drawstrings with the same, just a crisp white lining. I have this idea in my head and I give it a go. And I like it, but I don't know if I do it again because I don't know. I don't know if it's just me. I don't know if the bag isn't big enough, but I just wanted to have a go with ticking and cork. Now, here it is. I mean, I think it's turned out really well. I have got some of this in red that I'm going to do a red one as well. This one's in the shop at the moment. So this is a cork fabric. This is a ticking. And then it's got the stripe, not the stripes, like the fancy wave like that with stars on for the drawstring and the lining. And then on the back, I just thought, look at that. I just thought I'd put a little love art. So that's in the shop and that's my standard size. So that's like a ten and a half by eight. This is socks, scarves, mittens, you know, that kind of thing. Great for amigurumi. Um, then we have a sock set. Now, this isn't quite finished, but never mind. The bag is finished and we've got, oops, it's upside down. Got a matching DPN order. I just need to put the... Um, plastic snaps on that um that's in the shop but it's now in the shop it's got a different color lining um i think it's white and gold but with this set they will be the pink not the white and gold um i've got a few of these little dpn holders i was going to put the teddy bear thing on but you know what i thought no i'm not i don't want to um, so there's just some fur DPN holders. I've got, I think, three or four of them are in the shop. And then I have made, oh, I love this, a little Notions pouch holder. And it's got, oh, dog snoring. 
it's got a little um, toadstool zipper pull and a little handle and inside it's lined with the same you know that fabric it's like a cream and white with like stripes going across but in here there is a pair of miniature bonsai scissors and a tape measure a retractable tape measure and a little um lavender pouch and then i've just got this but it's not quite finished obviously it's going to go in the shop finished but it's not quite finished yet but i'll show it to you anyway and then this is going to be another little um zipper pouch um yeah i think it's quite a long one so it's 10 inches so i'm just going to do a little bit of a box bottom in it and you'll probably get away with that for socks or amigurumi um but yeah that's going to go in as well but like i said there'll probably be a little bit more in over the weekend because that's what i'm going to be doing some sewing right so that's me um I am, what day is it? Friday. So I am now going to go for a walk. I'm going to go out and get some fresh air. We have been shopping this morning. Um, so I'm going to go out and have a walk. Then when I come back, I am going to start some dinner. Um, and yeah, we'll see what the weekend brings. So I am going now. Um, and again, sorry about not being here next week, but these, last week rather, but these things happen. I hope you all have a lovely weekend um, with lots of crafting and hopefully nicer weather. Take care of yourself and I shall see you next week. Okay, see you next week, guys. Bye.